everyone. Welcome to Xbox 101 with myself, Megan Ever. Thank you for joining me today. I just saw someone in chat say, I'm here to support my ex-wife. <laughs> what? So, I didn't know we got divorced, sir. Ma'am? Oh, this is news to me. Why didn't you? Where was the prenup? <laughs> Where was the letter of divorce? <laughs> <laughs> my wife left. Monday's off to a great start here in the studio. Some, something's nudging Mike. Yeah, we're getting a slight, here, I can mute your mic if you need okay. to adjust. Where should I put it? Um, there's some, it could be, if you're hitting the cord, it might make a noise too, so we could move the actual mic pack onto that table in front of you, and that might help us out. No problem. There we go, that'll probably be better. Wait, let's see if that works. That yeah. might help. Is that better? Oh. I think it's because, like, is it this? It might be that. Hang on. New mic. Pause the show. Pause the show. <laughs> da, da. I feel weird when I walk you through the process, chat. Okay. One second. I'll put on some music. A little interlude. Here we go. <laughs> Try that out. Hello. Is that better? <laughs> Hello, everyone. Hello. Hello. Oh. Hello. H e l l o. Spells hello. You got it. Ah, ah, we're back. We're back. Nothing happened. Just a bit of a a mic situation. All right. Anyways, back to what we were talking about. And one thousand credits, and you could have the Fey ephemera. And whoops, sorry. <laughs> oh God. One of those days. One of those days. Uh, prestige, awesome, cool stuff to show off your pride. Looking green, looking cool, looking like the Grinch, looking like Gumby, looking like Christmas tree, looking like this couch, looking like a cactus, looking like asparagus, broccoli, Shrek! There you go, Travis, that's what I was looking for. Shrek skin for Grendel, ooh, has anyone done like a Shrek kind of a thing for Grendel? Green, I don't know, I guess he has a shirt and his little like pants, so. I don't know. He just needs a shirt and pants is what he needs. Mike Myers, call me. We could make something happen. Uh, greetings from Germany. Uh, uh, guten Morgen, or is it Tag now that it's afternoon? Guten Morgen Tag, there you go. <laughs> is that a thing? And take it like a shot of, oh, oh. of straight lemon like juice. Like one of those health shots yes. things. I wish, that's like to me when I think about that, it's very LA. Yeah. Like health shots are just everywhere in LA. Also smoothie bars are really big in LA. Yes. But our like booster juice like right here has health shots. Did you know that? No. Yeah, they have like a couple health shots and Danielle and I took one and we felt like we were in LA and <laughs> We were not. We were in London, Ontario, Canada, where it's very cold. It's very not LA. Yes. All right, guys. I'm not good on that. I don't know time conversion. I don't know temperature conversion. Everyone just simmer down. <laughs> simmer down. Every day should be Christmas. Uh, I'm in Dallas, unusually foggy this morning. Huh. Huh. Do you guys get snow? That's also something I don't know. A certain thing people in get Dallas, snow. Dallas, Texas? Or just like, do some places get snow and some don't? Yeah. The amount of times I've Where's asked Where's the dividing them, like, line there? Yeah, <laughs> but I've asked people all the time, I'm like, oh, do you get snow? <laughs> just like, I don't know why, I just need to know if certain places get snow. Like, does it. Florida get snow? I don't know. Why is Fahrenheit so weird? Why do we have to have so many different things? Like, why is there, I guess it's an American versus whatever, but it's like Celsius, Fahrenheit, kilometers, meters. Like, why do we- Miles. Miles, damn it. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm not a snow person. Like, I don't snowboard anymore. I don't even own snow pants. I thought about that the other day, because I was like, you know what? I'd, I'd go for a little romp in the snow today. <laughs> That could be fun. I saw a family walking with like a toboggan and I'm like, yeah, I could go for a romp. And then I realized I have literally, if I wear like four pairs of jeans, maybe. Should get some snow pants. I should get some snow pants. Enjoy it again. I should. Build a little snowman. For shame, boarding is the best. I used to snowboard. I almost broke my butt bone. Yeah, but that's intense. Snowboarding is fun, but I'm also terrified of it. I'm terrified <laughs> of a lot of things. I'm terrified of broken bones, not unreasonable. I have never broken a bone yet and I'm old and it would hurt a lot more now that I'm old, so. I'm kind of a little bit more cautious on the things I do in life. You know, I'm not, I actually thought I was a different age for like three months. Wait, pardon? <laughs> All right, so I'll tell you my age. I don't really care. I'm 28. For the long
longest time I've been saying I'm 27. <laughs> And then literally like last week, someone's like, how old are you? And I'm like, wait, dude, you're young. Okay, I feel 42 though. <laughs> That's my inner woman feeling and outer too. I feel old on the outside, but such is life, you know? Light side, ooh, oh dang. Oh, oh you need to relax, sir. <laughs> you got, to, you put your finger in the socket, you know? I should start wearing a mask, I think. One time I had a unfortunate large acne on my face as a child. Uh, worse. And of course I picked at it like I should not have. And uh, I put a band-aid over it and told people that I fell on a pencil and stabbed myself in the face. I respect that. It's like how uh, I was saying on primetime that I was talking to a family member's 16 year old uh, child. And I learned the whole like, girls giving guys their scrunchies if they like them. Oh, was that a thing? And boys giving girls their sweater or whatever. And I'm like, oh, I steal sweaters. Sweaters are, I can see that. Those are just a comfortable, smart move tactic. There's nothing, you know, surprising about that one. But the giving of the scrunchie, that's news to me. And I thought that was so cool. I was like, yeah, that's the things I want to know. Like, what's the, what's the cool ends? I want to know. Yeah, that I makes hear me that. feel so old. <laughs> I mean, like, what do the young kids these days like to do? But you know. I'm not well versed either. I wish I was. Yeah, that, this is where the 42 year old in me is coming out. Like, <laughs> I want to do courting and. <laughs> you just want a little chivalry, little chivalry. Little chivalry. It's 2020. <laughs> Bring back the chivalry. <laughs> Put your coat on the puddle for me. Oh, uh, <laughs> open the damn car door at least. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Uh, well, I'm not kidding. <laughs> That'd be great. <laughs> yeah, I would be like, whoa. <laughs> <laughs> like, I'm sorry, did you forget something in your passenger side seat? What's happening? <laughs> Excuse me. Are you opening the door for me? <laughs> this is my, yeah, this is my old soul coming out. Doomy Sama on YouTube says, weird that good manners are considered courting. <laughs> You know, it's hard to find some good manners these days. <laughs> 2020 is off to a great start. I joined Kwa Shai for her uh, charity art stream this weekend for Australia. Coffee's getting cold. Oh, uh, you, if, if your coffee gets cold, the punishment is you gotta chug it. If you let Ew. your coffee get cold and you find it cold, you gotta chug it. What? Get it, that's, out, that's, get that's, it that's out of the, the way. That's, I didn't that, well, that's, agree that's to the, any of that. That's the rule. That's the punishment. That's how you. That's how you make sure you never let your coffee go cold again. Because you're like, oh shit, I don't want to chug cold coffee, right? That's so smart. Damn it. That's that's how you mentally make sure that you never let your coffee go cold again. Just I get when I get talking about anime, I forget everything else around me. <laughs> I know the feeling. Reed Kid says, "Is Auto microwaving fire. coffee an acceptable move?" If I put this thermos in the coffee, it will explode. But I would never put coffee in the microwave. You nasty. Put this thermos in the coffee. No, I said if I put this thermos in the microwave. Did I say that? If I put this thermos in the coffee, it will explode. <laughs> I think you did. I think you said put this thermos in the coffee. I think you misspoke a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> or put oh the coffee God. in the thermos. One I can, the, one I can just see Megan with like a big cup of coffee, and she's like, "I need to warm it up," and she just drops yeah. the thermos. Do in. not put it. Do not put thermos in the microwave. The metalized stuff will create a whole bunch of electrical sparks and ruin everything. One time Coffee I put a chocolate bar in the microwave. Cause it, I hate when people put their chocolate in the fridge or the freezer. I'm like, that's disgusting. Travis <laughs> Teaspoon says, that's disgusting, as opposed to melted chocolate all over the microwave. Hey, melted chocolate sounds <laughs> delicious in any form. What are you saying? Fair enough. And we had the conversation that Reb and Shy have never been in the same room together. Hence, they are the same Whoa. person. Theory. It's a theory, all right. Reb is a lot of people. Crazy. So it, I, oh, that cat died aggressively. <laughs> Did you hear that? <laughs> oh my God, that was sad. He's an aggressive boy. When he gets hungry, watch out. Kind of like me, mm -hmm. getting hangry. Do you get hangry? I, oh my God, I get hangry. <laughs> okay. But I'm like, my hangry is just like not talking. <laughs> <laughs> Which some people might find great. <laughs> I'm not talking, but it's also like just an attitude. Like I get real attitudey. Mm. Like when I lived with my parents as a teenager, my mom picked up very quickly when I was hangry, <laughs> and she would just slide me a something, you know, <laughs> just give it to her. Girls hangry, or we call it hangry because I'm hungry, angry. hungry, angry. I'm angry because I'm hungry, and I'm hungry because I'm angry. <laughs> it's a double-edged sword. It really work. Yeah, um, slide me a sandwich. Nidus Prime doesn't make sense lore-wise. Oh, oh. <laughs> Nothing makes sense in Warframe. 
<laughs> don't you know that? He, you die as an Aris? No, I don't. I never die, Kylo. Show me. Show me when I die. Excuse me, sir. 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 Excuse me, sir. Sir? Oh. <laughs> Please don't. I agree with that, but I also think that there's room to make, like I was saying, a Naros less of a Mimi person. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Less of a Mimi. I like the idea. <laughs> a mummy, Mimi mummy. A Mimi, Mimi mummy. <laughs> I want to be a Yu Yu mummy. <laughs> God, that sounds so dumb. Uh, can you say it? I'm Yeah, distracted. on uh, Mixer, NitroHid18 has one, and on, that's a lie. On Twitch, NitroHid <laughs> HD, you know who you are. You have one on Twitch, and Ugly Old Kid on Mixer has one, so. Oh, Lord. I'm watching for you, Ugly Old Kid. I gotta say, I know my HUD is effing massive. I know that. I'm a blind person. I need this. <laughs> that Kuvalich bar at the top <laughs> is really messing with all of my, my <laughs> jam right now. It's really hurting me. Uh -oh. Pablo. <laughs> Check out Lotus's booty clan. I've That's done. true, there's a clan Lotus booty. Really? Oh yeah. Dang, I That's wish it was on thing. Xbox. It was. It was, yeah. It was. It I was. wish it was back. <laughs> <laughs> One day Lotus's booty will be back. Oh, oh. That's Don't scary. go too far. That's actually making my stomach hurt. <laughs> yeah. Do you have I a healthy like fear of heights? It reminds me of when I got stuck in that cave. You got stuck in a cave? Can I tell you that story? No. Really quickly, when I was young, we went to Bruce Caves on a field trip, and I was the smallest in my group, and my mom was actually the like chaperone. Thanks, mom. And <laughs> there was like a hole in the wall, like on the ground, like you could like a little scuttle through it, and she, everyone's like, do it, Megan, go see what's on the other side. And I looked at my mom, she's like, yeah, why not, give her. <laughs> so I'm like, okay. I also was really into Laura Croft at that time, so I was like, yes, this is my moment. So I crawled through like the little hole, and I remember it was very dark on the other side. I did tell that story, well, I'm telling it again really quick. Um, I need to hear it. Okay, it was really dark on the other side. I remember looking up, and it was all like, like jungly, like it was very like mossy and I was so distracted by it and I kept walking and then I stopped and I looked and it was just black, like there was <sighs> nothing, like it just stopped. Like I was on a ledge and I was so scared I like threw myself backwards and started like <gasps> screaming and crying and then my mom heard it and she's like, come back! And I went to go back to the like little hole but because I had gone through the one way, all the like rocks and stuff moved around. Oh my and goodness. And literally did that thing in, in horror movies where you look at like a hallway and it stretches and it looks like it goes on infinitely. You got vertigo. I got something. Oh my god. And I, I looked through it and I was like, there's no way. I was like, I'm stuck on this other side of this cave forever and my mom was like, come here, like screaming. So I, I manned up and I crawled through it and then I have That's never- That's a make or break survival moment you had as a youngin. I'll never forget it. I don't have a good memory, but I will never forget that. <laughs> Bye.